Hey everyone, Matt Napoli here. Hey, Snackers, welcome. This is Kareem Iskander. Um, we're doing a special episode today because Kareem, Cisco Live's coming up. Yes. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm excited to see you in person. I always look forward to that. That's why I love Cisco Live. Like, you're the only reason I love Cisco Live. <laughs> That's not true. I'm really excited about all the content we're going to be putting out. But, brother, we've been working on something for the last maybe three or four months now that I think people are going to be really excited about. Um, can you jump into to that and then we'll we'll powwow about it? Yeah, I know you and I, throughout Snack Minute, throughout our day to day, we talked a lot about this. And we, um, at Cisco Live, there are some great content for our attendees and some for the folks that are um, streaming or watching at home. And so, but what we wanted to make sure that we bring t- into Cisco Live and from a, um, a learning perspective is the ability to upskill on your uh, skill sets. And we wanted to make it from a way where we take you through a use case from when what really happens in the real world where you have a product, you have the, the dashboard, you have the CLI, you have the click ops. How do you uh, configure, deploy, troubleshoot all of that using the, the tools within the product, but then not, not stop there, build on that use case on how you actually automate and scale up with APIs and DevNet. And so, you know, this is kind of our vision that we've been talking about. Uh, we have special sessions. And Matt, you want to fill us in on, on our snackers on what actually is happening there? Yeah. So um, what's what's happening in, in the broad scale is that we're combining forces with learning and certifications um, and DevNet um, to put together what we're calling the upskill hub. Um, and the upskill hub will have the DevNet zone on one side with all the classic automation and programmability content. And then on the learning and certification side under Cisco U, um, you're going to get all of that awesome educational uh, material. And in the middle is where we're going to have the skill stage. And that's the content that Kareem uh, just told you about, where we're building a correlation between the, um, the practice of uh, configuration, the practice of uh, troubleshooting, and tying it then um, to automation. So um, through a combination of, of, I'll call them sister sessions, um, you're going to learn about a Cisco platform. Let's use Meraki as an example. That's always one of our favorites. Yep. Um, you're going to learn how to configure a network on the dashboard, how to use the um, eight, or how to use the dashboard to um, you know, add devices, uh, set up um, routing rules, all kinds of cool stuff that you need to do there. And then you're literally going to take that next step in the session right after and learn how to automate that specific use case. So um, really exciting that we're being able to tie these things so close together. Usually it's kind of there's an assumption on the DevNet side that you already know what's going on there. Yep. And sometimes we learn, actually quite often we learn that that's not the case. Um, and on the Cisco U side, you guys touch on automation sometimes, but there's not always that direct correlation there. And so really, really pumped to show that journey um, from you know understanding and using the platform to the automation space. When Matt and I were talking about coming up with this, we, we picked seven hot topics that we think our uh, attendees are interested in based on feedback from our customers and what we see at Cisco Live, based on what our internal kind of um, business entities have. And so if you look at that, um, we've picked on topics around use cases around Meraki. Uh, We're actually bringing in Splunk. So if this is something that's of interest, we're going to take you from Splunk as data store dashboards to how to automate with um, with it and Otel and all of that good, cool stuff. Um, we're bringing in uh, Catalyst Center um, as a use case. What else, Matt, we're bringing here? Uh, we're going to do iOS XE, so literally co- command line activities um, and uh, data collection to um, actually automating those. Um, through uh, NetConf and RestConf, which is really exciting. That's, I mean, that's some ground level stuff right there. Yeah. Uh, we also have Thousand Eyes. Um, so how can we um, set up some of our tests within their dashboard and then start to automate that process and, and actually tie in um, observability for applications across our whole WAN? And then 
Um, on top of the observability messaging, we're actually looking at the observability platform out by AppDynamics as well. Um, so there's there's a number of different ways that we can um, leverage that platform um, as a practitioner and then add in um, elements through programmability and extensibility. So um, really exciting there. And the last one, actually, I forgot, we also are going to be doing uh, application security with Panoptica and seeing how we can really do some shift left activities uh, with our application deployment. So we're kind of hitting all levels of the stack here with um, DevOps uh, opportunities, SecOps opportunities, application development opportunities. It's really exciting. Um, and it really dives into like Cisco platforms that are sometimes a little bit hard to understand what they even do. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing the what they even do, and then here's how you automate the thing that they do. And I couldn't be more excited about the opportunity to meld those two messages together. Yeah, so it's it's I'm I'm excited about it. This is I'm, I'm excited that we're working together on it. And, yeah. Um, and we have a project together on it. Um, snackers and the the attendees that are planning on going to Cisco Live, um, the sessions are in the catalog. Look for skill, um, as the as the 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 session ID and uh, go in and get on the list and and register. I think we have. Limited space, but we're hoping to accommodate as you know as many of you guys as as uh, many. Well, we want them to fill up. <laughs> yes, yes, and if and we will be there. So if if this episode sent you to the 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 stage over there, just come by and say hi to us. Yeah, always. All right, snackers. Um, hopefully, we get to see you guys at Cisco Live. Cream, I will definitely see you at Cisco Live, and uh, we look forward to it. So thank you so much again for another. Uh, Another episode of Snack Minute, and we'll catch you guys next week. Thank you, Snackers. Thank you.